Hey, hey fish. It's the 13th of February 2019. It's been busy around here. But there is just craziness. Uh, I was never able to let go of the things from last video, particularly this Israeli moonlander carrying the Torah, known as Bereshit. Okay, in the beginning, I keep going over this because it keeps coming back to me. I mean, over and over again. Okay, so this morning I see this article about the uh, the debt at twenty two trillion. Okay, now in the last video I showed you how Netanyahu, full of pride, uh, bound to the serpent, and I, that still stands. In fact, there's more being added onto it all the time. This 22 trillion is interesting. You read this article, right? And it goes into, you know, whatever. And, but right here, it tells you the exact amount of the debt. Okay. 22.013 trillion. Okay. 22. Let's not forget now that the, the 22 is the alpha bet. The Hebrew alpha bet has the 22 characters. And the five extra ones here that, you know, we won't go into those. But the 22 again, okay, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end. The very last place in the Bible that you see that, okay, 2213. Revelation 2213. This is the very last place you'll find this. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last okay that's the last place you'll find it and what is this called in the beginning the first this is just crazy stuff you guys and i know that there's something involved with this because yesterday two things happened to me one is i got a word and i very rarely get words from the lord but i got a word and literally two words torah cursed cursed torah that was the word that I got. And uh, random Bible verse that I got yesterday in the morning was absolutely insane. I've been using this Bible generator for at least a couple years, and I've never, ever, ever have I gotten this chapter and verse randomly generated in the beginning. I mean, what are the chances of that, right? And here I am looking at the... Israeli fake lunar lander with the Torah in it called in the beginning and it just it literally keeps going I showed you how it was associated with uh, the Apollo 8 and how on Apollo 8 they literally read the first 10 verses of the book of Genesis in the beginning you understand and I showed you how that was literally I have it here. How that was literally 18666322 days ago. That that Bible verse was read in, quote, space on Apollo 8. However, this is crazy. But the Apollo 11 mission, that was the one that fooled the world. Saying that they actually walked on the moon. Okay? This is crazy stuff, you guys. But get a load of this. You gotta forgive me, guys. Oh, right here. Armstrong became the first person to step onto the lunar surface six hours later on July 21st. Okay? July 21st. Let's go to July 21st. They just love these numbers. 1969. If I can get this to work. And we'll go to the launch date of the Bereshit. Okay. okay, the 111 days. The 666 and the 111. The 111 is a direct relationship. This is how my spirit receives this stuff. Uh, directly related to the Kabbalah. The crown. The Kether. The triple one. It, it's, it's so convoluted. And, you know, it's all magic and sorcery. And this is what, like, these fake Jews... Are pushing on the world is their Torah and their Kabbalah magic. 
I'm just telling you, this is the plan. This is the new world order. This is, this is who's going to lay down the law, the Torah law. And for those who don't accept Torah, you will be under what's known as the Noahide laws. Which, if you proclaim the name of Jesus or anything of that nature while under that law, <laughs> off with your head, kid. That's the way it works. And this is what's coming. People think it's way out there. That's just crazy. But let me tell you something. It is real. And for me to get this random Bible verse, okay... I mean, never have I gotten that in the beginning, really, and to get the word Torah cursed. I mean, it was as clear as day, and, and I rarely get words from the Lord, and that one was clear. And it happens to be right as I'm looking into this Israeli moon thing, which launches on the 19th, which is also a full moon. In fact, it's the most full moon that that we've seen as a supermoon since 1948 <laughs> when Israel became a nation in a day this is just crazy stuff you guys but it's all all associated and all related so I'm, I'm looking around at all these articles okay and again I'll link all these things and I'm looking at this one here now, now don't forget the 22's the 22 2213 22 it's all over the place and I'm looking at this article here and it's got all these links these hyperlinks in the beginning you can it takes you to a wiki page and Twitter and all these various things one of these ones I forget which one it is but one of these takes you to space.com okay takes you to this article about Israelis Moonlander naturally right and imagining success and it gives you all the little fake CGI garbage complex 40 it will launch you know and it's just going through all the garbage but if you scroll down right you look at these masonic team members this is just such a load of garbage but if you go all the way down on this space.com right when you get to the bottom there's always articles that you can go and look at right and one that was up there yesterday this is crazy guys you got to get a load of this the article that was up down at the bottom there I clicked on it was about Ariana Grande okay and she made a song like this week <laughs> how convenient uh, about NASA so so NASA is over the moon about Ariana Grande's little satanic music people one thing I can say for sure is that this young lady desperately needs prayer she is being literally eaten alive by this monster okay so you read into this right and it tells you about how she she loves Jupiter and Neptune and all these various things right but what struck me right away was Ariana Grande right she was the one that was at a concert in England that was terrorized so they say this is what we're given the Manchester Arena bombing okay this is she was performing there Ariana Grande now get a load of this this thing happened on May 22nd 2017 right that the bombing was carried out by a 22 year old man okay 22 22 year old man on the 22nd the bomb he detonated killed 22 people okay and it all happened at 2231 hours so we got 22 22 22 the debt at 22 trillion it's it's insane the alphabet the 22 you see what I'm saying so it made me take Ariana Grande who the satanic rituals that they're using this girl for are just <laughs> this is so evil it's just beyond measure um, so Ariana Grande that was back in uh, 2017 on the 22nd of May and I include the date the 639 okay remember when I showed you about Netanyahu and how his little Shalom moon was 369 and now we go to Ariana Grande and we have 269 
You see what I'm saying? This is a pattern, and it's very obvious. The 69, even the simple 93 we can get into. The Thelema, which is directly related to Kabbalah. And it's all satanic, period. But the 269, just like I showed you with Netanyahu's Shalom Moon, the 369, the 69 just represents the dual system, the, the duality of mankind that it essentially is the prison. It's the, it's the deception. Most people have no idea that they have an internal war for their eternal soul raging inside them. They don't even know. But the 369 I showed you, well, Ariana Grande, the 269, the same applies. The two, the Beth, the house, the body, okay, inside, within her, the poor thing. She is nailed, pegged, hooked, bound to the serpent, the snake. And that's what I get out of this, okay? What does that mean? I don't know. The 19th is an interesting day. That's all I can tell you. It's a big, fat, giant, full moon. It's also Purim in the Jewish. Okay, I went back to July 69 just to illustrate. Apollo 11 landed on Tishbiav. That's when that so-called moon walk returned, which I found very interesting. But if we go to this month, you'll see that on the 19th, Purim begins. 14 Adar. The 14 is also just a crazy number associated with the moon is going to be 14% brighter. The 14 represents the generations of Jesus all the way from Abraham and then all the way to now. That time frame matches to now. We are in that last 14th generation. I did a video a few weeks ago. If you go back and see, it's amazing. It's amazing what God is showing us, okay? So we got to just take all of this stuff into consideration. I get lost with some of this stuff sometimes. The 22s, which again leads us back to the Kabbalah. Okay. I don't suggest that you go and like deeply study these things. Just know that it's satanic. And this is what this quote, new world order, new world religion is going to base their law on. You need to know this stuff. The 222, two, two, the 3222s, the 666. Six, six. It's all connected, every bit of it, and it's all a lie. And the fact that 22.013, the 22, the Alpha, Bet, the Alpha, Omega, is literally the last place in the Bible where the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, is found. Even so, come Lord Jesus. <laughs> 22, the last place you will see it. And the debt happens to be exactly 22.013. So, I would keep an eye on this 19th. I'd keep an eye on every day. Every day. The 19th is also representative of the Tao. If you don't know about the Tao, it's a whole nother adventure you can take. The Tau is the 19th letter, the Tau cross, the triple Tau. It relates to seasons and cycles. And they believe that they are coming to the conclusion of this huge ritual cycle that they've been illustrating to us for so long. So you need to be ready because Christ is coming as well. You understand? I hope you do. And I had to share this stuff with you. It's snowing like crazy again here in good old Maine. So I got a lot of cleanup to do. I hope this makes sense and blesses someone. I truly do. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,